Chicken next, where the morning session had proved most fruitful for the English, finishing 1, 2 and 3. But they would need to repeat it if a growing Scottish confidence was to be repressed. It was a good enough start, Burn ahead of Conway and Parks, with the Scots grouping bumper to bumper and the Irish providing a diversion. And all was still going nicely to plan up until halfway point, when a little tete-a-tete -tete near the front changed things round a little. Susie Stoddard, number five, who had led the Scottish assault, was not best pleased, but neither was Russell Parks. He suffered irreparable damage, and Byrne and Conway were left to battle on alone. And they did it pretty successfully, but with Parks out, Ed Tilly in ninth place, and Alex Mortimer in a lowly 16th, there was a chance here for the Scots to edge in front. Inglis was second, Wilson third, and Susie Stoddard had recovered to 10th. Well, the English were certainly one and two, that was for sure. And when it was all totted up, England, in spite of that one and two, had only increased their lead by four points. Another psychological boost for the Scots.